Hi everyone. Um, I actually got a question from the very sweet and very talented Terry here on YouTube. Her username, I believe, is Terry Berry or Terry Berry Two. I'm not sure. I'll put it down at the bottom of the screen. But anyways, she wanted to know why when she created something on Silhouette Studio on r using the grid mat, it wasn't cutting matching this carrier sheet that comes with the silhouette that has the same markings as on the computer screen. Um, and the reason why most people have this problem is because when you turn your machine on, you'll see a bunch of letters and numbers pop up and then it'll say either load with carrier or it'll say load media. If you use the option that says load media, it won't match that grid. It won't match this. It won't match this at all. It'll just suck it in and cut it wherever. Um, some people's machines, I, I, I believe what happens is it defaults back to whatever you last had it on. So that's why some people's machine automatically pops up to that load media instead of, oh no, it went back to load carrier. I don't know why some people's actually starts, but I have seen some people's machine, like my local scrapbook store, there's defaults to that load with media option and you actually have to scroll over. So if you push the left and right menu buttons, you'll see load media and then load with carrier sheet. If you want the screen to match, if you want it to cut what you have on the screen matching these little lines here, you need to make sure you load your mat with a screen that says load with carrier. Load with carrier, that's what you have to remember. That will make it match the, the carrier sheet, the grid lines. If you use the load media option, it won't. Now what a lot of people don't realize is you can cut um, things in your silhouette without using a carrier sheet. It'll actually cut using this little black bar here. So for example, if you go to Silhouette America's YouTube channel, they'll actually show them cutting fun flocking, like flocking iron-on sheets without using a carrier sheet. Um, another thing you can cut that I've cut without using the carrier mat is vinyl. So that's why if you're having that problem, you're having it you need to make sure that you're using the load with carrier if you want it to match. Uh, the other question she had, which I'm sure other people have too, is on this mat, what does one do with these little green strips? Some people think they're supposed to be there to load the mat and the screens into the machine. Some people are saying they're falling off. Well, I actually take mine off. They do peel off. It's the same material as the backer sheet, and when you get done, you just put them back on. Um, if I'm doing really quick cutting, I don't take them off. But if your sheet is losing its tackiness, it will like bind up in your machine, so just be careful of that. So anyways, that's the uh, <clears throat> answer to anyone's question who's having the dilemma of making their cuts match the Silhouette Studio software on the grid mat. Um, if anyone else has any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them if I know the answer. Um, the Silhouette is my primary die cutting machine, so I tend, I do tend to know more about the Silhouette than I do about the Cricut or any other die cutter. Um, thanks. Bye.